Hi, my name is Kamsi and I'm a Go programmer. Today I'm excited to announce Quizzle. Quizzle is a native Go, na native Go implementation of the Porter Steamer algorithm. Uh, it's a new project I've been working on for about a week now. Actually, I built it in 38 hours. Just spent the rest of the week uh, cleaning up as well as fixing uh, semantic and syntax errors. Um, excited to announce today that Guizzle is ready for testing. It's production ready. <laughs> Just get it. It's uh, ready for testing. So please uh, try uh, use it. Uh, contributions are welcome. And uh, if you need to get a hold of me, send me an email. My email address is kamsicode at gmail.com. That's kamsicode at gmail.com. Now, uh, Guizzo, the reason I built Guizzo is because I couldn't find a Go implementation of the Porter Steamer algorithm uh, with features other than Steam in a word. When I was developing an inverted index for uh, an information retrieval system, actually I'm still uh, building an inverted index for an information retrieval system, uh, I needed uh, a steamer uh, that could uh, uh, tell me the number of consonants that are found in a word and as well as uh, uh, the number of vowels in a word. Unfortunately, all the implementation of the, uh, the Porter Schema algorithm in Go could not provide me with this information, so that's the reason why I was prompted to build uh, Guizzo. Guizzo is extensible. Uh, it's built with extensibility in mind from the ground up actually uh, so that uh, developers can create new experiences. Within Guizzo you can build your own steam engines. What I mean by steam engine, I'll get to that just now. So um, the target for Guizzo is uh, developers building uh, machine learning algorithms, uh, specifically natural language processing, English to be more specific, as well as uh, developers building inverted indexes for information retrieval systems and search engines. So uh, to install Weasel, to download the code from github that is github.com forward slash camc forward slash weasel or choosing just do a go get go get github.com forward slash camc and weasel uh, I'm I think I talked about features and I'll get into that just now but wait before that uh, when I implemented Guizzo the first time, it failed to pass the test. The test that is on the, uh, the test of the Porter Steamer algorithm. And after a few tweaks here and there, uh, the last time I ran the test, Guizzo passed all the tests for each step in the Porter Steamer algorithm. So let me just run that now. Just, so I wrote a shell that runs all the tests. So test all dot shell. So I do one test for step one, passed. Step two, passed. Step three, Step one, sorry, pass. Step one A, step one B, step one C, then step two. Step two, pass. 
Step three, passed. Step four, passed. Then step five A, then step five B. Oops. Yeah, so it's passed our tests. Uh, now let's let's look at Guizo. Let's look at the code. Um, Guizo has one function called ingest. What ingest does is it ingests a string. After ingesting a string, it returns a type, a struct type, octopus, which has three fields: the word, the ingested word, the vowel con, which is short for the pattern of value consonant that exists in the word, and the measure. The measure is the number of times that the pattern value consonant value consonant exists in a particular word. So it returns this type, the octopus type. Now the octopus type is the heart of Nguizo. What I mean by heart is each step in the Porter Steamer algorithm is implemented as a method of octopus. For example, um let me just go down. This is yeah. So, so step four. A, a, it's a pointer receiver of octopus and returns a string. Uh, the features that are built on top of Guizo are as follows. First, there's the steam engine, deep steam. Uh, what deep steam does is when a word is ingested in the ingest function, it returns octopus type. The octopus type, as you saw, has three fields. The word, the uh, vowel con, which is short for our consonant and the measure which is an int the, the two are strings um, <coughs> when you call the deep steam method on the octopus type it returns a steamed string this uh, deep steam the string that is ingested if it's when a string is ingested and you call deep steam, that string goes through each step, each step from top to bottom of the Porter Steamer algorithm. Each step steams step one, step two, step three, step four, until step step one A, step one B, until um, step uh, five B. So the result is the steam of the word. So for example, as you can see on this code snippet, you have an import a font and weasel. Then I call the ingest function. So weasel dot ingest, which returns the octopus type. Then I call the deep steam method for the octopus type, which returns a string. So if I run this but a file is here deep. So I ingest abilities. The steam of abilities is able. Yeah. So um should be in the playground list. So go run deep deep Don't go. Steam is able. So, so that's a feature. Well, it's not a feature. That's that's a steam engine, and uh, many other implementations of the Porter Steamer algorithms can do this. This is nothing special about what I've just shown you, but uh, 
the uniqueness of Weasel starts from here. Secondly, uh, there's a steam engine I call Shallow Steam. Uh, what Shallow Steam does is the moment a word is steamed by any step in the algorithm, the Shallow Steam method bails out and returns the string. The, 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 the string. So let me direct your attention to uh, shallow steam so this is in the readme file you can go through the readme file the word um, goes through each step from top to bottom like in deep steam uh, the difference is that it bails out like I said the moment uh, a step steams the ingested word so when I ingest abilities and the moment abilities is steam it bails out so for example in step 1a uh, there's a rule that if you have a suffix ending i e s uh, remove the if you have remove the suffix and append i to the word so the result will be ability so to demonstrate this i created a file called shout.go here so if I run this run shall to go you should see ability so step one a uh, stemmed the word first and since a change has been made to the ingested board uh, shallow steam will bail out and will return the the word as a steam so uh, this is a guizo feature it doesn't exist anywhere else then the next feature is shallow steamed the first uh, the previous one was shallow steam now it's shallow steamed shallow steam is not so different from shallow steam the only difference is that it returns the step that was used the step that steamed the word instead of the steam i repeat shallow steamed returns the step that was used to steam the word instead of the steam for example when i ingested abilities when i ingested when sorry when the function uh, ingested ability abilities it returned ability and the step that steamed ability was step one if you go through the uh, portal steamer algorithm you find that in step one there's IES as a uh, IES and you remove IES suffix you add I so I created a file shall <coughs> so okay. let me just change to abilities okay please I'll say that there go on shall dot go So step one A was the first to alter to change ability. If I change the word to um, steamer, for example, and we run shall with. So the first step to auto steamer is step four. And if I run shallow steam instead of shallow steam, I should get the steam instead of the step. So steamer becomes steam. 
this stemmed in step four. And if I use deep steam, if I use deep steam on the steamer, I'll get steam. So this is an awesome feature. When you want to know uh, which step uh, steamed your word first, which word, which step was the first to change your ingested word. Then the next powerful feature is uh, the ability to. Uh, um, return the number of consonants, uh, the number of, of vowels, uh, the number of um, the measure value of a word. For example, look at this code snippet. Octopus. Remember, has three fields: word, vowel, con, and measure. So, if we call the method, sorry, if we if we, if, we, if we call the, the field measure, it should return the measure value, which is the pattern vowel consonant that like, is in the ingested word. Uh, if we get the vowel con uh, string and check if it contains the C, which is consonant. Uh, we can count the number of time, the number of consonants that exist in a word. So let me run this, which is feet. Go on feet. Go. So abilities has pattern vowel consonant, vowel consonant, vowel consonant, vowel vowel consonant. Abilities has measure value six. Abilities has five vowels abilities has four consonants and if you just print uh, the variable octopus which holds the octopus type it prints the word the vowel con and the measure value because vowel, no, sorry octopus implements the stringer interface so uh, these are the features that I needed to use in my invented index. Uh, Guizo, currently, forgive me if I'm mistaken, is the only implementation of the, is the only Go implementation of the Porto Steamer algorithm I know of that can give you this information. So, next feature is step suppose you want to use uh, step four on a on an ingested word so that can easily be done with steamer because each step is implemented as a method and you can call uh, you can call each step which is a method on any value on any ingested word so if we ingest troubled octopus type is returned we call step 1b it returns the steam it, it steams this word using that step we can change the word we just change the value of word to value of word in our octopus type and give it Vietnamization and let's we want to change the step as well instead of step one B we use step two we can easily use step five A on Vietnamization so first sorry first let's use step two so if I run this Go run step dot go. 
So the first trouble, second Vietnamese, third electric. So we change the value of word to electricity with an I and steam this word by calling the method step three. We get the result electric. So let me change Vietnamese instead of step two. I can go up the ladder and say step one A and it will work without any problems. You steam with step one A. Vietnamization because there's no rule for uh, the suffix that ends in T I A T I O N or A T I O N in uh, step one. So such features such awesome and great features uh, do not exist in any other you know, core implementation of the portal still again i say currently i don't know if there are any implementations that support some that are implemented in this way so forgive me if i'm mistaken so with Guizo you have uh, access to the core implementations of the algorithm and I believe you can create uh, can build on top of Weasel you can build exciting experiences and also experiences in Weasel because of the way it has been implemented so this is in Gui this is Weasel um, I hope you will test it and try it out. Play around with it. Uh, contributions, critics are welcome. So, uh, thank you for watching the screencast and have a good day.